What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards and Comics here today. Another product from our friends at Upper Deck. They sent one of these boxes along for us to check out. Marvel Masterpieces XL. This is a redo of the 2016 set, but in 5x7 format. Uh, the big chase here are the level 5s. Silver Spectrums, uh, sketch cards out of here look really, really sick. Uh, there are Battle Spectrums, all sorts of nonsense. Let's go ahead and get into it. This is probably not, uh, like I said, Upper Deck set this one along. I don't know if this was a product that I would go after if they didn't send me this one. Just full transparency. I don't know how I feel about the oversized cards. Some of the inserts look cool and stuff. Uh, and like I, I think the sketches look absolutely amazing, but I don't know that I would buy boxes of this to chase that. But if you're into it or you're a massive 2016 fan, then, you know, more power to you. So it's kind of a different one. These packs are huge. Uh, I think there's 10 packs in a box. Let me double check that real quick. See, we got three cards per pack, 10 packs per hobby box. There are blaster boxes of these. I don't think I have any 5x7 sleeves. So if we hit something crazy, uh, I'll have to just kind of set it aside. This is definitely a weird one here in regards to a product opening. All right. So if you're familiar with 2016 Marvel Masterpieces, one of the most popular Marvel Masterpiece sets ever. Uh, absolutely fantastic artwork in this set there's a thor canvas so it looks like our insert is going to be the middle card and then a beast uh, and then a nova there on top a little what if nova there so the and that's numbered to 1499 gold foil so a little foiling there you can see and then that's just a regular one and then the canvas uh, let me set this over here and set those there like I said, I don't have a great way to sleeve these because uh, I don't have any 5x7 sleeves. I forgot this box was coming and it completely slipped my mind. Oh, there we go. A little Amazing Fantasy, the Spider-Man one. I don't remember if that is numbered or not. There's a Lenticular X-Men looks really good and then we have the af-15 what if uh i think this is a this might be a level five i believe this is a level five so that's probably a pretty good one there probably one of the better best of the base cards that you could possibly pull of the non-numbered stuff so we'll have to get i'll have to get some five by seven sleeves for that one for sure. Do not have a great place to put the packs. Ah, oh, we got a little Gwen action there. It's our back card, White Queen, Emma Frost. And then we got a Hollow Foil. Oh, Wolverine, nice. I don't believe these are numbered. No. But that actually looks pretty cool. Opening this product, I like it better than I thought I was going to. These actually look kind of nice, especially the bigger ones in um, in this format. What if a little black cat? There's a Namor. And see what our insert is. We got a gold, looks like a gold foil anyway. She Hulk. Yep, that is numbered to 1999. Red She Hulk, rather. So yeah, the What If Spider-Man, 
probably a pretty good pull for just a base card. Those are one in 40 packs, I think. Captain Universe. There's a rocket on the front. A what if. And then another gold Ultron. Uh, number to 9.99 on that one. It would be kind of fun to put a binder of these together. All right, our what if? Oh, Hella, Gamora, another gold here. Little Falcon. Uh, that one's to nineteen ninety nine. We got uh, four packs left. Sketches are the ultimate. I think they're really hard to pull. Uh, I've seen a couple of them, and they look absolutely fantastic. Um, because just when you give an artist this much space to work with. The Lady Sif, an Iron Fist, and then we got something here. It looks like a battle. Hulk versus Sentry. For our battle spectrum. So, obviously, if you want one of those, you want one of the gems. Oh, nice Marvel Girl. And we got... Oh, nice. We got a Wolverine. So, we've been pretty lucky on our bases. The What If Spider-Man and a base Wolverine... Two of the better characters that you can hit. And our gold is a Ghost Rider. That looks really nice. Got a Werewolf by Night there. Black Cat. Gorgeous Black Cat. Judge Jusco artwork. Just, you know. Undefeated, pretty much. Hero for Hire, Luke Cage, What If Gold. Number to $14.99. And last pack. Uh, looks like we got another hollow foil. One of the different variations of Thor. And that's out of 25. Wow. So there's your box hit, folks. Thor to 25. And then we had, I'm like scared to handle these to a degree because I'm just not used to five by seven cards. So the Thor was obviously a really good pull. The Wolverine, pretty good pull. And then where does Spider-Man go? I'll definitely have to get some 5 by 7 sleeves for these bad boys, for sure. Uh, Black Cat, what if? There's our Emma. Oh yeah, the Wolverine hollow foil. Not numbered or anything, but... One of the better ones you could probably get. And then the Amazing Fantasy. And then the Lenticular. I don't believe, yeah, not numbered. The Mirage. Oh, and a Canvas, too. So, overall, pretty solid box. I will admit, going in, I was a bit skeptical on this product. Uh, opening it, I like it better opening it than I thought I was going to going into it. Uh, the artwork does really pop on this larger format. If you're going to do it, Marvel Masterpieces is a set to do it with. Would I go crazy buying this myself personally? No, I don't know that I want to collect 5x7 cards, but this was definitely a much more enjoyable experience than I thought that it was going to be. Um, I do have a different appreciation for this product after opening it up. So... That is the box opening. Curious for your thoughts and comments down below. What do you think about the 5x7 size? 
Is that something you're into? Would you like to see something like that in the future? Or is this just a unique thing because 2016 is such an iconic set? That's all I got for you, boys and girls. We will catch you on the next one. Peace.